Good evening, everybody. That's right. It's evening time here at Tech of Tomorrow. And why are we coming to you in the evening instead of a normal time? Well, for one thing, it's launch time. That's right. AMD has their latest weapon in their arsenal for the mid-level gaming market. What is this? Well, this is their latest solution. It's called the Radeon HD 7790. Now, this card has 896 stream processors, 40 texture units, 16 ROPs, 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory with a 128-bit memory interface with 6 gigabits per second total memory effective bandwidth. So all in all, it's a pretty good card. Now, the only thing that may affect this card at all may be the 1 gigabyte of memory because you guys know when you start increasing all the features and stuff like that, it has sometimes some you know negative stuff on it. But since it's late tonight, we're just going to bring you first the unboxing. So you guys can see it back behind me. This is the Sapphire version. This is their Dual X edition. This card's going to be coming to market at about $159. It's pretty interesting, and um, I think you guys are actually going to like this card. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's just take a quick spin on the box. I know you guys don't like it if I pause too much between things trying to work on that. And I also notice you guys make a lot of notices about my hand gestures. I apologize for that. I have really advanced stage diabetes and sometimes I shake really bad. So I'm trying to do my best to slow that down and not pause too much. But it's hard for me to just keep talking at, you know, fast paced <laughs> the whole entire time I'm doing this. So, all right, now let's jump over the table and let's actually delve into the box. All right, folks, so here we have a close-up of the box. Some of the most interesting things are the woman's breastuses. They are quite the proper size there, even though they're virtual. we got the overclock thing here, dual X cooling. That's all important. Radeon, 28 nanometer process, all good stuff. Now, basically, right here, this tells you what comes in the box, system requirements, not much there. Here's the nomenclature. So if you guys are looking to buy this card, here's what you can type in the internet to find it and purchase it. And we'll flip it around just real quick, show you guys the back of the box. Not too much to it, just going over some of the other features about the card all the way down. You know, Ifinity is important, but I don't think with a one gigabyte card, you're gonna be having very much luck with Ifinity. It's kind of a, I think a bullshit tactic. So let's just go ahead and pop the box open. Pull the thing out. Set it off the side. Alrighty then. Now, okay, I will admit it took me a lot of dog on time, but now it seems that uh, pulling the tab here is usually the correct way to open the box. So there we go. No more upside down boxings. Inside we can see the card. All of the accessories, which we shall take out and take a look at. And that's it for the box. Alright, so let's start off. Sapphire. This is from their Sapphire Project Registration from the Sapphire Club. Be a member. Here's the driver's CD. Where to get a hold of the company? In Germany or here? Quick installation guide. Crossfire bridge. Molex to six pin cable connection. HDMI cable and DVI to VGA. That's all the stuff for the accessories. So we'll go ahead and pop that out of the way. Then let's take a look at the card itself. Go ahead and pull it out of its anti-static bag. Set the anti-static bag down. Let's start off on the back of the card. You guys can see this card has a black PCB. A lot of you people have complained for years that Sapphire uses a crappy blue PCB. For all you folks out there who hated it, hey, your prayers have been answered. You can see that there are four bolts right here. If you remove these, you can very easily remove the cooling off the front of the card. Let's flip it around real quick. Take a look at the RIO. We have one single link and one dual link DVI connection, standard HDMI, and standard display port. One thing that's kind of weird though is that you guys notice that most of the AMD cards always have two mini display ports. This is something totally different. We see no mini display ports at all on this card. So let's flip it around to the side. You guys can see it's a two slot solution. Now inside of here, if the cameraman get inside there, you guys can see some of the copper. That's part of the heat pipe, part of that dual X cooling. Here is the PCIe 3.0 interface down on the bottom. Now, here you guys can see there are two fans, hence the dual X cooling. 
and underneath them you can see all of the cooling fins as well to help keep the car running cool. Flip it around to the back side. Once again you guys can see inside and some of the cooling and some more heat fins inside of there. Flip it around right here. I'll flip it around actually you guys can see the Sapphire logo though. So here's the Sapphire logo. Six pin power. So you're gonna have about 150 TDP. Single crossfire connection right here up on top. So you can only do two-way crossfire. You won't be doing quad on this card at all. So that's pretty much it. So you get the card and all the accessories. And that's everything that comes in the box of the new Sapphire HD 7790 Overclocked Edition. See you later.